What's going on guys? It's Landon. A few years back, I did a video on the Anycubic i3. You know, the super affordable DIY 3D printer that you had to assemble yourself. I've actually still got mine and it still runs after seven years. Absolute beast for the price. I think it was $170 at the time. Well, today I'm checking out something way newer, the Anycubic Cobra 3 V2 Combo. And I gotta say, it's wild how far we've come. This thing is light years ahead, but they've kept that same bang for your buck mindset. So the Cobra 3 V2 Combo is the latest version of the Cobra 3, and Anycubic's clearly been listening to user feedback here. It's not just a rebrand, they've actually refined this thing to make it more stable, easier to use, and just plain better. Let's talk leveling. I know a lot of you have fought with printers that just won't stay level. It is necessary to get a very level bed for your prints to stick to the base because that first layer is the most important layer to ensuring that your 3D prints don't fail midway through, say three hours into the print. On the Cobra 3 V2, the Y axis is now wider, bumped from 40 millimeters to 60 millimeters, so you're getting more motion stability. The X axis has more contact points now, which helps keep that back and forth motion smooth and precise. And they've improved the eccentric nut setup so things are better aligned with less wobble. Basically, it's gonna give you more consistent prints without needing to constantly tweak things. One feature I really like, they've added regional leveling. That means if your model is only taking up a corner of the build plate, it only levels that area. Saves you time when you just want to get going. And check this out. There's a 720p camera built in. Come standard. So right out of the box, you're ready to monitor prints remotely or just geek out over time lapses. Pretty slick for a machine that's only $379. They also snuck in a little boost in print volume through software updates. It used to be 250 by 250 by 260 millimeters. Now it's 255 by 255 by 260 millimeters. So not massive, but that's still a 4% bump in build volume without needing bigger hardware. Now for the fun part multi-color prints. This combo comes with an eight color module, which is honestly kind of crazy. You get two Ace Pros and a full connection module included, all set up to handle eight different filaments. If you've been wanting to print in full color without spending over $1,000, this is probably one of the most accessible ways to do it right now. Oh, and for those who like to print fast, the Cobra 3 V2 can hit up to 600 millimeters per second. And the nozzles use the same leak minimizing treatment as the S1. So you're getting airtight printing with way less mess. So while I haven't officially gotten my hands on a Cobra 3 V2 combo yet, for a printer that gives you high speed, multicolor capability, built-in monitoring, and rock solid leveling at $379, I think the Cobra 3 V2 combo hits a really sweet spot. Big thanks to Anycubic for reaching out to me and for sending me some information on their latest 3D printer. I'm a big fan of Anycubics and I will definitely be saving up to get this printer. Um, if you are thinking about upgrading or getting into multi-material printing, I definitely at least check it out. Um, on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one.